So as you can see, this bed is pretty high. It comes up to my hips. And yes, it is not the easiest bed to jump onto. But in spite of that, according to the 11th century Kam Sutra, this was supposed to be the best height for a lovemaking bed, especially if you have a clenched vagina. And by clenched vagina, I mean that if you've been regularly experiencing pain during sex, you start to anticipate the pain. And so when you're about to have sex, you actually start to clench it even more. So apparently this height of bed could sort out a lot of your problems. So one of the positions recommended for a tight vagina is where the woman lies flat on her back, like in the missionary position, but in this one, her hips, her bottom and her legs have to be completely flat on the bed. Because when you keep your hips that flat, it actually straightens out that slight bend in the vagina. So it just makes penetration a little bit less painful for the woman. But as you can imagine, this would become extremely difficult for your partner because if you are lying on the bed with your hips, your bottom, your legs so flat on the bed, your partner is almost going to have to do acrobatic yoga in order to be able to penetrate into you. So with this height of bed, you would actually lie down at the very edge of the bed where your hips and your bottom would be just over there. Your legs would be hanging down. This would make your hips and your vaginal canal much, much straighter. And it would be so much easier for your partner as well because they could actually just stand in front of you and penetrate you. It would save their back pain as well. Pretty clever, no? Considering they were thinking about this a thousand years ago and we still haven't thought of this.